Good morning and welcome to day 40 of the Red Letter Challenge at Ascension Lutheran Church in Citrus Heights. I'm Pastor Scott. And today we conclude the Red Letter Challenge with this final week of, of being encouraged to go. I'm coming to you from inside a car today. Um, I assure you we are not moving, but maybe Andrea can make it look like we're going. It would, like they do on TV and in the movies. I know some of you have been watching the videos from Pastor Zach on the Red Letter uh, Challenge website, and in some of those videos he's been talking as he's been driving, and, and I've assured you that I would never engage in a practice that uh, might put myself or the public at risk. So uh, this vehicle is uh, parked and it isn't even turned on, so fear not. But yet it's representative of this, this call to go. Our red letters today come from Matthew's Gospel, the Jesus words that say, Go therefore and make disciples. This is part of Jesus' final words of instruction in, in Matthew, and it's the text I preached from on our, this last Wednesday night. Go therefore and make disciples. It's a, it's a challenging text when we think about what it means to go and, and to share the gospel with others. But we've done... We've had 39 days before today of being challenged by the gospel, being challenged by the red letters of Jesus' words. And uh, some of us during this time have actually developed some new habits. Um, I, I, for one, have uh, begrown, grown much more accustomed to, to talking to a camera in this medium. I never thought before COVID I would get used to preaching to a camera as I did during the time when we couldn't be gathered for worship. And now I am a, a bit more uh, used to uh, preaching to Andrea's iPhone with her standing behind it with headphones on. I trust that this journey through the challenge has been fruitful for you. It's been surprisingly fruitful for me. Again, I didn't know what to expect when we set out on the challenge together. And I'm surprised that it's, uh, it's challenged me and encouraged me and pushed me in ways that I, I wouldn't have expected. Believe it or not, I didn't know that if I would have enough to say for these 40 days, as I said the other day. But I, I find that, that every day that somehow I, the right words to respond to the text, not only Jesus read letter words, but to the things that Pastor Zach has shared in his reflections, um, the words have come, and hopefully they've been helpful to you um, during this time together. A number of you have told me how much you're going to miss our, our time together every morning. And uh, I'll miss it too. But unfortunately, this isn't a, a, a model that uh, can be sustained long term in terms of the, the time it takes to, to create these videos for every day. But, but what can be sustained, I think, is, is your um, habit of getting up every day and spending some time reading Scripture and reflecting on what, it, on what Scripture is saying. Um, not always only the red letters of Jesus' words, but other parts of Scripture as well. So as a result, I, I mentioned it during my reflection on this last Wednesday night, my, our last midweek um, Lenten service, that uh, we are, have ordered and should soon have um, copies of a daily devotion for the season of Easter. Fifty days uh, is the season of Easter, is 50 days that... Uh, from Easter to Pentecost, Penta meaning five, 50 days that Jesus, after the resurrection, was present here on earth among, among the disciples. Well, I, I say 50 days. He was actually 40 days and 10 days later as Pentecost. But there are 50 days in the season of Easter. And uh, so for those 50 days, we, I invite you to utilize one of the daily devotions that we have bought. It's different than Christ in Our Home, which we've always made available, which is a quarterly uh, devotion based on our lectionary. These are will be reflections based on this season, and it's called Forever Hallelujah. This this reminder that that Easter, yeah, it's a day, but it's also a season. And actually, in the life of the church, every Sunday we celebrate as a little Easter. So I hope you will maintain the habit or practice that you've developed during these forty days of spending some time every day reading from scripture and in devotion. And Andrea and I are in negotiations to uh, figure out, you know, there's no contract, you know, nobody's, you know, holding, 
it's not a ugly negotiations, but just trying to figure out how do we, how do we uh, continue with some form of, of, uh, of coming to you via video, maybe even weekly um, in, in the future, um, in a way that is hopefully helpful to you and, uh, and, and allows and encourages each of us to grow together on our Christian journey together. My friends, it's been a privilege um, to, to spend this time with you throughout this season of Lent. I hope that you will journey with us through the Passion um, as we gather on Monday, Thursday, both online and in person at 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. In our Good Friday observances, we have a service in person at noon and then both in person on, and online at 7 o'clock Friday night. And then our our celebration of the resurrection come come Easter Sunday. We'll have worship at ten, both online and in person. And if you're a person who likes to eat and uh, is, loves breakfast, uh, we'll have breakfast from eight to nine thirty. And that's a fundraiser for a mission project for our youth. I hope to see you soon, but uh, it probably won't be tomorrow. Take care. God bless.